Okay, back on. Okay, that was a three minute test. I'm going to run all these things over a little bit. These are hot. It's 145 degrees in here. Okay, this looks a little better. We'll go ahead and pull that one out. These intakes look a little better than they did before. They clean pretty good all the way around, the whole thing. Well, they're pretty nice looking already. They really are. Silverware doesn't look any good, but... Some of this stuff looks like it just needs... Remember he talked about a little brush. You just touch it with the brush, I got a little brush to go right down that. Oh, you got that uh, little uh, stainless brush. Wire brush you had. Yeah, the carbon gets soft. You barely just touch it with anything and it takes it all. Inside of a tube doesn't clean as good. It's pretty good though. Oops. Okay, that's drying off. Yeah, it looks about the same on the inside. I'm not seeing much of a change there. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. I already talked about going on a little light brush for this stuff. This. Oh, you got real good brushes, yeah. How the screws look. They look all right. The dirty one's still dirty. Oh, it's already that's, dry right now. That's not going to be aggressive enough to do anything. It's too dry to do anything at all right now. Anyways. Dunk it in the hole. It's like completely dry. Dunk it in there a little bit. This one. That one's clean, isn't it? That one's got brushes, strong, strong enough bristles to make that big of a difference. That one's a really strong bristle. Yeah, try this one. This is going to try the coarse one on that one. I think a wire brush is what you need, not these. These are not really that. Let me on this. Oh. Can you get some gloves on? Yeah, that, that awkward here. Kind of awkward. Oh, yeah. You kidding me? Look at that. Any huge difference. Oh, yeah. That. Knocked it out real nice. That's what's just like. You feel that? 145. Alright, now we'll go back in there. Okay. Dunk her in there. Is Tetra going to get big again, baby? Still doesn't heal. Every time it heals, he puts, he puts his claws on there and gets me. Yeah. Alright. We're going to do a three minute run test. Yeah. Yeah, we broke that before. Gonna break it again? Nope. Not this time. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at here? Oh, you're back. I think it's dirty. Oh, what are you doing down there? You're beating me to death over here. Okay, we're still we're not at full power yet. We're still sweeping. Arrgh. What are you doing down there? It's still much this time. Where's your, uh, hey, where's your case at? We're dirty. Oh, damn. It's trying to knock me over. Attacking me. Attacking me from the rear. That sucker's strong. Oh, look at that. 
pulling out the neck. Oh, what's my hand there? Oh, trying to bite me again. Trying to bite me. Trying to bite me. Trying to bite me. Yeah, he's trying to bite me. Yeah, I got you. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that's right. Going for it. Whoa, look at that. He just sneaks up on you when you're not looking. He sneaks up on you. Oh, look at that. He's trying to bite me. Oh, oh he's not looking to grab him. That's what to do. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, he's trying to bite me. I see that. I saw that. Wild worm at there. Hey, you lost your toy. You took your toy. Hey, that's my hand. You took your toy. He's biting me. He's trying to bite me. <laughs> He's trying. Alright, now I can cut this. Oh, that's a little bit better now. What's your case? I'm in the case with you. Which one? Uh, one that looks like a knuckle whip. Nothing? Oh, something looks nice. It's got 16 seconds here. Alright, hold on. Let's see what we got. Pull it out and throw the whole carbonate in there. Use your brush. Why does it sound that fast? Hey, the copper's starting to look better now. It takes a long time to get copper to clean. Look at that. This one was black. You leave those in there long enough, they might do something, but... Copper just, this is not the right solution for copper. That's our stainless look. Stainless feels nice. Looks good. These I flipped over. Now they're clean on both sides. Yeah, I'm not dirty on the other side like it was. Look like clean. Find your brush. Yeah. Right here, pretty safe. Now these look like crap. No. Not working on me. Ooh, it's hot. That's clean, man. That's hot. It's clean. Yeah. Still got the corrosion on it, but it's clean. If you have a part that's not corroded, it really looks nice. Is somebody rolled on that? Yeah, Is I that? don't think so. You would see it on the inside. Yeah. See, when you got a clean cast and no corrosion, it looks really nice. This was corroded, so it has a little bit of corrosion to it. If you take this and bead blast it, then put it in the tank, it really, really looks nice. That's yeah. for a shovel head right there. Shovel them. Oh, it could be for a sportster too. Iron head. Shh, we don't talk about sportsters. Right? Oh, okay. It doesn't fit Harley. It only fits with a Harley shovel head. It only fits big toys. It doesn't fit anything else. You know what's nice about these? These don't go up. They go down. You can't flood it. It has to suck the air, the fuel up, which means uh -huh. it has to anonymize it. Plus, it makes the intake track longer and high velocity because it's small. These actually make the bikes run better when you put these in there. Yeah. They also made a drop and it had a two bolt on it. We uh -huh. used to please them all the time. Drop the, you put an S nest on it, drop the noise down, it really makes them old super bees run nice. Really? Yeah. But anything you do to do that, because the fuel has to go up, it doesn't flood anymore. Because all your other manifolds, if it's flat and the fuel just goes right in the ports, raw right. fuel, doesn't burn very well. So we're going to try these some more. Where's that big carbonator at? Right here. She's dirty too. Like I don't know if you can see this. Can, well you can, can you see, see that. that that is dirty in there? That is filthy. That is a filthy carburetor. That is a filthy carbonator. All right, we'll be back.